And we do have tequila going again. There it is. Not in the press box. Oh, man. Not in the press box. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. The, the song. The tequila's not going around. The tequila's not going around the press box. It is going around the stadium. And you see right there, Dave being frozen because the song is not on because the game is being played. And here it goes. And he's back, dancing. He's getting the fans into it. It's a 17 to 10 game, but Dave's loving it. Loving the energy in the ballpark. Not the score. 0-2 misses. Now he's got a couple fans in on it. And we've seen this before. This is not the first time by any means. And there's, there's a woman that looks like she's also participating in the freeze dance. <laughs> two, two now, two, Kumulus. Follows it off himself and Tequila will start playing again. There it is. Got a couple people with them now, a couple fans. They're loving it. I believe that's that's an attempted version of the floss. Oh, he's really getting into it now. Hope he doesn't pull anything. He's gonna be he's gonna be sore tomorrow. Although he does this a lot. This is a regular thing, so. Yeah. <laughs> two two. That'll be a base hit. It's good for a second hit of the day, and Kumulos, leadoff single. Maybe this tequila is helping the Bravehearts out a little bit. Yeah, for all we know. <laughs> all you need here is, you know, all you need is a little tequila. This is great. Ben McNeil steps in. I don't think I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. This is just going to be playing over and over. And if they have a rally here, oh, man, this song could be playing for a very, very long time. <laughs> oh, this game has been going on for too long. We're on almost four hours now. <laughs> <laughs> you one to McNeil oh, inside man. the strike too. <laughs> on the bright side, trash pickup has started. Leaves Dave little... just threw the bricks on basically right in someone's lap. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. McNeil gets out of the way of that one, almost hit him. I believe that that's the the Carlton. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what about 10 cups of coffee a day looks like. That's like a mix of the floss and the Carlton. I don't even know what the Carlton is. You never seen Fresh Prince of Bel Air? Uh, yeah, a long time ago. Then you should know what it is. And here comes Dave. He's going to go up a row. He found a hat. He's going to wear the hat. Not exactly sure if that's the best move. That was on the ground for a very long time. The hat oh, is still spinning as he's freezing. Going. That This is fantastic. The hat is going, but he's stopped. McNeil follows it off. That was actually really impressive. It was. Well, at least it's just some form of entertainment. This is great. Oh, 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 he almost caught it. Oh, you hate to see that. Oh, pause. There he is. I almost forgot to pause on that one. One, two inside. Gets away, and Kumulos will advance. I'm not even sure if this is legal. I don't know either. I believe, I believe an email was sent tonight to let 
it be known that this was going to happen? I didn't get that email. Neither did I. No. But I was told that someone sent an email alerting the teams and umpires that this was scheduled to happen. All right. Well, if the situation arose. A rose? A rose, yeah. So it will be a pitching change, or not a pitching change, just a mound visit, rather. Is that Matt Pekarczyk yep. out there? We got an intern down there now. Are they going to do it again? Is it scheduled? Uh, just secure? do it again. Just do it. There oh, it is. There it is. Geez. It's not going to stop. You know it's not going to stop. <laughs> the best part is, is there's nobody out. <laughs> we got three more outs to this. Honestly, though, if the rally starts, then let's do this. Let's do this thing. If we have to go an hour of tequila playing, I am all for it. If it means starting the rally. Now Dave's got the zombie... Looks like a zombie dance type of thing with the jacket over his head. Hey. They have now just a whole plethora of children dancing. For Is he song. getting paid to dance? I Matt, so. I'm yeah. talking about. He, I mean, he's got to be. Dave can do whatever he wants, but, I mean, it, is and that McNeil allowed? walks. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I can't believe this. This is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Tyler Becker steps in. Oh, man. I mean, Matt is just completely abandoning his post <laughs> just to dance. He's got fan assistance. And re I, I'm pretty sure they have to have someone covering for him. But this is, this is a sight to see. First pitch to Becker. Swings at a curveball. There it goes. And they've got just a bunch. Uh, everyone's getting it. This is a dance party. This is an absolute dance party behind home plate. I mean, this this stuff just doesn't happen at most baseball games. Well, we're not most baseball teams. This is true. We're far from the average baseball team, at least when it comes to promotion. That ball's ripped down the right and left field line. That's going to get through. Here comes Kumalos to score. McNeil on his horse. He's going to get through. Becker charging his way all the way to third base. Stand up triple. And the song changes, but it's only one song that's going to change. Well, you got mini rally happy. here. I mean, tequila seems to be paying off. I wonder if they're going to go back to it. I mean, you got to right now, right? You have to go back to you it. You can't not go back to it. This is electric. We have a man flossing in right field. A grown I, I do see that. father. I, I think he just caught us looking at him because he's <laughs> now, he has now sat down. Oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This is my favorite job in the world. It is it really, really is. I mean. <laughs> and there's a giant bug now joining. Johnson oh. base hit. Wow. 17 to 13. Yeah, and now we got the top of the order coming up. You look like you're just in disbelief right now. I think I am. Ready? Here comes Tequila. It's going to be on at some point. Oh, Richardi's in the box, so they're going to wait. But I would imagine it's coming back on. It's still nobody out in this inning. Richardi, one for four, base or double in a walk. First pitch he sees. Oh, Curveball. There it goes. There go. I genuinely think I might just partially go out of my mind. If you want to leave the broadcast to go dance with everyone. I wouldn't blame you because I'm almost on the on that verge of going out and dancing with everyone. By all means, take it away, Donald. I'm thinking about it. If Richardi gets on for one batter. All right. I'll I'll go down there. 
I'll let you take over this for a batter. Richardi chops that one. Let's see if he's going to be able to beat it out. No, Johnson will advance. That's the first out of the inning. Broadcasting the rest of the game standing up. I'm getting in on this. Getting in on this action. That is maybe the worst dance move I've ever seen. What are you doing? I don't really know. We're just going to go with it. We're going to go with it. We're broadcasting the game. We're dancing to a little tequila. It's a great time. John Thrasher steps in for his pitch. Ball, and here it comes again. Oh, now they got me. They got me on the broadcast. Yeah, this is great. We're just freezing. You're on the broadcast? Oh, that means I'm on the broadcast, too. Well, you're not dancing. <laughs> Thankfully. Thrasher pulls back on the bun. Here it goes. Here comes the tequila as we're broadcasting the game. This is great. This is just great quality baseball here. It's 2-0 to John Thrasher. And if he gets on, Jake Sessa will be up next. Sessa, the number three man for the Bravehearts. Thrasher swings through that one. It's the middle of the Bravehearts lineup as it's Thrasher, Sessa, Shelley. That's two, three, four. My arms are getting a little tired here. Matty P has now been off his post for about 10 minutes. <laughs> He's got someone covering for him. <laughs> Thrasher, big swing through that one. Can't connect. You know what I think would be even funnier? What? Is if you danced when the music wasn't on. And it's just a whole bunch of people flailing around with nothing. Thrasher chops that one to third base. It's going to be a tough play. The throw offline. They're going to try to get Johnson at third. He's safe and the ball gets away. Thrasher to second. And here we go. We're going to keep playing it. John Thrasher chops that ball. And with the speed of Thrasher, he's able to get in there. I think this is more impressive than us eating pie. You like this? You dancing and doing the game, I think this is even, uh, even more impressive. Jake Sessa steps in. I'm also somewhat embarrassed to still be here next to you. This song has come to an end, but they'll replay it. Sessa one for four on the day. And Sessa's getting his own personal chant here. And that ball's gonna get away. Here comes Johnson to score. It's 17 to 14 and Thrasher advances. It'll go as a pass ball, not a wild pitch. Either way, Johnson into score. Thrasher to third. Still only one out in the inning. Did they teach you this at school? Dance while broadcast? They did not. This oh. is a trick I acquired on my own. Sessa rips that one, and it'll get past the first baseman, LaRocca. Thrasher scores. It's a two-run game. Well, first base is really eating up a lot of guys tonight. Shelly had one pop over his shoulder, and now the first baseman, LaRocca, that one was a little bit easier. That one got right through him, but first base has proven to be a challenge tonight, and B.J. Never coming out to make a move. And there will be a pitching change. And this will probably be tequila in its entirety, I would imagine. We're going to stay here for it. No commercial break. We're staying with tequila. So the Nashua Silver Knights will make a pitching change. And they're bringing out, 
They are bringing out backup to dance here. They are bringing the troops out. And people are literally being ripped out of the press box. <laughs> They are taking people out of the press box to dance to this. Well, Liz Adams is down there now. Connor, Our producer Connor, Connor is, is here. Down there. So, <laughs> if, if Liz and Matt are both gone, who is actually working? And now here comes Banana Boy. Eric Eric Benoit is here in his banana suit. <laughs> There is an all-out dance party that's going on behind home plate. I've never seen this before. We've seen tequila. We have never seen just an all-out dance party that is going on while the game's going on. Everyone's coming to join the dance party now. There was an announcement made. If you want to come join the dance party, go behind home plate. I mean, I, I would imagine they have to play it again because that's the end of the song. They'll play it again. It's Jack Pol Poloski, new pitcher for the Silver Knights. Poloski, 1 0, 7 2 9 ERA, 12 appearances. Does have 12 strikeouts, gets about a strikeout per inning, five walks, 17 hits. The control has been there, and I'm pretty sure that's what Nashua is looking for here, just to try to get some outs. Lefty on lefty with Ben Rice coming in, and now becomes a matter, a matter of management as well. Do you keep Pulaski in for just Ben Rice and then go to a righty, or do you let Mac Shelley possibly face a lefty if it gets that far? Are we the only two actually still working right now? I'm dancing. You are. Oh. This is ridiculous. Tequila. So Ben Rice steps in. He's the tying run. First pitch he sees inside. Tequila will be stopped. It's a 1-0 to Ben Rice. Inside Ooh. again to Ben Rice. I must say, the longer this has gone on, the less effective it has become in terms of stopping when the music is off. Uh, just the sheer number <laughs> of people. Although that was a pretty good stoppage, but... The sheer number of people, you're just bound to lose some. Rice follows that one back. A big swing. Is this the new equivalent of the wave? I, I don't I don't really know. This is something. This is just ridiculous. <laughs> oh man. Rice! That ball lifted into left field. It will get over the left fielder's head. That will get down. It'll drop. Sessa will be stopped at third base. It's a double. And hello, Worcester Bravehearts. The tying man's at second base. That's a bad read in left by Dupree. He started to cut that ball off towards the left center field gap and then realized that it was over his head and he had to retreat and he almost reached back and made the play, but that's a bad read at a bad time. Brings the go-ahead run to the plate. It's Mac Shelley. Mac Shelley on the day, he's two for four. And let's see, infield will be in. And I'm surprised there's no intentional walk here so you can get the lefty-on-lefty -lefty matchup with Kumalos. Probably don't want to load the bases with one out. First pitch to Chelly in there for strike one. 
Oh, let me guess. They're going to play Tequila again. It's my guess. Let's see if they stop it. I believe they'll stop it for this pitch and then continue it. The 0 1 count to Mac Shelley in the dirt. Oh, here we go again. Best part about this song is it says three words. <laughs> and it, it is the is same word three different times. Outside to Mac Shelley. Shelley on the day. He's two for four, an RBI, a run scored, a walk. He's been on base three times. There is now two kids wearing the rally jacket simultaneously. Paul Kumalos waits on deck. There's a banana dancing behind home plate. The 2-1 to Chelly. Down low, it's 3-1. And, and frankly, we thought the biggest excitement was going to be those $10 off Dick Sporting Good coupons falling from the press box. Far from the truth right now. The Bravehearts tying run at second base. They have fought back. They still have some work to do. Shelly, that ball will be lifted. It will be caught. Here comes a run to score. The throw to the plate, not in time. It's a one-run game. That's a really good job from Sessa reading that, making sure he got back to tag and really good speed. He jogs home, he's not gonna make it. Put on full throttle to get home. And good job from Shelly. Didn't hit it all that deep and hit it on a line. Not a ball that's usually tagged up on, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Bottom of the eighth, and you gotta try and score if you're Sessa, and he does. Six runs on the board for Worcester in this inning. They need a seventh if they want to tie it. It'll be a lefty on lefty matchup again. Paul Kumalos on the day, he's two for four. Two runs scored in an RBI. First pitch he sees in there for strike one. And now the question is, who do you have for the ninth inning? You want to remain in this game. Angelo Baez in the pen. Worcester's lights out starter. Kumalos goes on the high fastball. And it'll be 0-2. If you're Kumalos here, you have to just choke up on the bat, understand that you just need a base hit. It's an 0-2. It's a big hole here for Kumalos. Doesn't chase up high. Good job of laying off. Ben Rice on second base. He represents the tying run for Worcester. The one, two. Down in the dirt, Rice trying to advance. Here's the throw down, there is none. Tying run 90 feet away. Base hit ties this ball game. Something that we didn't think we were going to say when this inning started. Kumalos in the air, should be caught. It's Irvine and the left fielder both going in and it's Irvine who makes the catch. Braveheart strike for six, still not enough. They trail 17 to 16 as we go to the ninth.